Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Uh, today we're going to be going into something that I've really been wanting to do for a while now, and that's uh, I'm going through six of my favorite photos that I've ever taken. We're going into the backstory behind them, why I like them, and really dive into some of the photography aspects of, of what makes these photos good. And yeah, so with that, uh, that's something I've been wanting to do on this channel a little bit more is diving into the actual camera work that we're doing on this channel. Just tips and tricks on whether it's photography or shooting cinematic videos for yourself and your own fly fishing or hunting videos. So uh, today we're going to go into six of my favorite photos and why I love them and the stories behind them. Once again guys, excited that you're here. Let's go ahead and dive into number six. I love this photo. I love the crispness of, of this odd ad's horns, the texture of it, and even more than that, the depth of the photo, working corner to corner. I love the way this odd ad's horns frames Jason's face and catches that emotion of, we're deep in West Texas, we pull up and we start hunting these odd ad, and right off the bat, we were expecting it to be a tough hunt and maybe not see anything at all. Within 30 minutes, we had spotted a group of Oddad and I mean, literally chasing them off these cliff sides. Jason makes a perfect freehand shot. I mean, it's just one of those things, it just worked out perfectly. I mean, the sun was setting and we just ended up getting this perfect light. I could not have asked for a more ideal situation as far as a gorgeous animal, awesome country and perfect light. Obviously, I'm a huge sun flare guy. It's like, it's like a photography cheat. You can take anything with the sun flaring behind it, and I think it looks awesome. And maybe that is amateur hour for photography, but I don't care. I love the look. I love how this photo works from the foreground, midground, background. You just your eye just washes through the photo. I love that about this photo. All right, coming in at number five, man. For those of you guys that have watched this channel for, for the past year, you guys know we love our dogs. This is Justice and I's little pup. She's seven months old in this photo. Uh, Native loves the snow. and When she gets in the snow, she just pounces around and is the happiest dog in the world. And in this photo, I love the colors in, that came out on this photo. The washed out blue, wintry look. I think it looks awesome. Makes her look like a wolf. And she's just got this intense look in her eye, jumping through the air, the snow coming off of her feet. It just, it, it, it makes for a really interesting photo. Something that is very overlooked in this photo and the reason why I think it has so much depth. And as you can see in the right hand corner, how that shadow comes from the corner and it leads on to native. And that creates so much depth in the photo and it just draws your eye through the photo. It makes you it makes you very interested in the photo. It's not flat at all. All right, next up. This photo of Justice just encapsulates her personality. I mean, come on. Those dimples, they get me every time. I mean, this is definitely my favorite portrait I've ever taken of Justice. I love her smile. She just has this pure, raw joy shooting her bow. We're in East Texas on one of my buddy's ranches. Uh, we're in this cool corridor where it, it, it's an old road and then there's a bunch of arcing over trees and it makes this tunnel looking thing. Your eye immediately works, goes from justice to her bow and all the way down this corridor to where she's shooting. And it's just the colors in it, the depth of this photo, her smile, capturing her personality like that. So cool. Love this photo. I, I, I show this photo off all the time. It's one, of, it's one of the photos that I'm most proud of. All right, coming in at number three. Once again, it's my beautiful wife. Every time I see this photo, I show it to Justice. And I'm like, man, I wish I could replace myself in this photo because I'm so jealous that it's of her. <laughs> I, I love this photo. The way her bright color shirt pops on that earthy drab colors is just so good. I love the foreground and the, and the rocks in the foreground. She just looks awesome like she just looks like she belongs there i love that about this photo i love the way she's looking back and the expression on her face and she is just like locked in and a little bit of backstory on this day we had just gotten engaged in colorado this is like two days afterwards and so we were already having like the trip of our lifetime in colorado and 
this day, this particular day on, on the river, I literally just watched her the whole day. And I was just in awe. I, I'm thinking to myself, like, holy smokes, this girl can fish. Like, she was on fire. She was doing all sorts of fancy men's. She was doing all sorts of fancy casts, and she was having to do in-cast mins in order to get flies in the right position. And I realized like, I'm lucky I'm not fishing next to her right now and that I'm just watching because she'd probably be out fishing me right now. And that later that day hooked into a massive, massive rainbow. I was just like, holy smokes. So the rainbow took off downstream. I took off after it trying to land it for her. And being the dummy that I am, I'm a net builder. I literally build nets. But I don't have my net and it's in high water and I you know I do the I grab the line and try to pick up the trout and it just slips off I was speechless she had made a perfect in cast mend up against the canyon wall all the way on the other side of this decent sized river and I, I just botched it I botched the release but I was just so amazed and she did everything perfectly and this Dumbo here just couldn't get it landed but anyways, I mean, this photo I just think is awesome. I think it belongs in a magazine. I, I'm very proud of this photo as well. All right, now coming in at number two. I mean, oof. This is a really special one. Uh, this was one of my favorite Colorado trips I've ever done. We did like a week long trip. We went all throughout the state, going to different places that I absolutely love. And man, this is towards the end of the trip. We caught so many fish, like so many fish on this trip. And we were just so satisfied. And it was this beautiful sunset going down. We were just catching beautiful Rio Grande cutthroat left and right, left and right, left and right. And Justin is fishing this hill and I'm, I'm filming him. And, and I, I just look up and I see, and this mule deer and her fawn walk out right above Justin. And they just sit up on the hill and they're feeding and they're kind of looking at us, but it was just like one of those things where I, it was, it lined up perfectly the way that mule there sat up behind Justin. I was just like, this is what we do it for. Like this moment, the way all this is going down, I mean, this is so cool. I mean, th this photo just feels wild. I love the wild feel just in the middle of nowhere and these deer are just up there on the top of the hill looking at us and I was just, oh, I love that photo. All right, <laughs> coming in at number one. Man, I took this photo right at the beginning of when I began to start filming and getting more into photography and I started beginning to guide. It's just kind of like really the beginning of me being ultra ultra just all in and passionate about fly fishing and this is my childhood dog sandy and this is one of the last trips i ever got to take with her to the river it's one of my favorite spots on the river one of my favorite times of the year to fish that river and it's just special just being that it's one of the last trips that i ever got to take with her i love the water coming off her tail and the sun catching those water droplets Man, this photo just, it, it basically summarized my childhood. I mean, that's the dog I got when I was five years old. Grew up fishing with her, went to the river so many times with her, to that exact spot so many times with her. And that was like one of her last trips before she passed away. I love that it's, it's taken on a GoPro, so it's not the highest quality, but the story behind it and what this photo means and just like, like if, if I could have one photo from my childhood, I would take that photo. I think I'm 16, 17 years old in that photo. And that's, that's the photo I would take. If I could only have one photo from my childhood, that's the one. It just sums it all up. It's, I, 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 I don't know. Something about that photo is just so awesome. But yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. We're going to be doing more episodes like this. Uh, I really want to do some 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 more tips and tricks on like taking better fish photography, filming your own fly fishing films, and starting to get into more of that side of things. If that's something that you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know which one of these photos was your favorite. So with that, take care. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, have a great day. Bye.